Hey, Survivors, Zedfalcio. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the top 5 best mods for decorating your bases with an Ark Survival Evolved. So coming in number 5 is the additional lighting mod. This mod adds tons of different lighting structures that are great for decoration and lighting up your bases with. So everything in this mod is made in the light construction table which is an engram that you'll have to learn. And all of the structures, all the lighting structures in this mod do cost quite a lot of materials, so you don't just get them for free. So it's a pretty pretty well balanced mod. So that it adds tons of lights. So first there's the ceiling lights. You have a lot of options. And they all look really good, really high quality. Oh yeah, this is the disco ball. And then there's the wall lights. Oh yeah, and none of these lights require fuel, so that makes it better than the traditional arc lights. But you do have to turn them on every time you log on. If you're on a server, you probably don't have to turn it on each time. So yeah, these are the wall lights. And then we have the dynamic lights. So these you can put on flat surfaces like on a table or ground, but some of these you can also hang up. So like, I think these ones, the dynamic ball lamp, you can put those on walls and ceilings as well as on the ground. So yeah, there's all these. So then we have the lights that you have to put on the ground. So we have a lot of post lights. Yeah, just lots of lights. <laughs> Coming in number 4 is the bathroom furniture mod. This mod adds a couple high quality modern day structures that are great for decorating with, especially if you want a bathroom in your base. So everything in this mod is made in the BF workbench, short for bathroom furniture, and which is also an engram that you'll have to learn first. And all the items are also pretty difficult to make, probably even more difficult than from the additional lighting mod. So this mod doesn't add that many structures, but they look very good, and they blend in with Ark pretty well as well. So it adds the tail, a, t a towel rail, and you, it also adds the towels individually, so I placed these on their own. So originally it was just the, the towel rail on its own. It adds the bath, the shower, you can't go in it unfortunately, but it's nice decoration. Shelves of different colors. A wooden shelf, and I added these tiles in again on my own. And then you get the heater. This is very expensive, and it requires gasoline to work. Well, not gasoline, but a generator with gasoline. And it works as an air conditioner, but three times better. So that's both for decoration and has its uses. And there's the mirror. You can vaguely see the reflection. If it did put the exact reflection, your game would be very laggy. So it's good that it doesn't do a complete reflection. So yeah, nice for decoration. The toilet. I don't think you get experience from using this, like with the normal toilet in Ark. So yeah, it's just good for decoration. There's a stool. And we have two basins. Two sinks, one with a white sink, and one with a black sink. And there's also the shave set, which is on its own, and the towel again. And the sinks also have lots of inventory space. Coming in number three is the RP Visual Storage mod. This mod adds a ton of storage structures to help organize all your items, and it also helps with the aesthetic of your base because of how good these structures look. So first of all, oh there's like over 50 of these, so it's gonna take a bit. So first is the handcart. This isn't for any specific item, so you can put anything in this one. Notice it doesn't have an appearance, like it's just gonna stay empty in here, unlike some of the other things. So then we have the bag of charcoal. 
And you can only put charcoal in this. So if I wanted to put stone in, I can't. So it forces you to be organized, this mod. There's the charcoal cart, the cementing paste bowl, the metal chest. The metal chest you can put anything in as well, but there's only 50 slots. And there's also some books in there. That's just decoration. Oh yeah, and what's cool is if there's nothing in here at all, then the books will disappear. So it's like pretty accurate, I guess. <laughs> and then you can also open and close them, which is very cool. And the animation is very nice too. We have the Rockwell chest, pretty much the same as that, but it's bigger and has a different appearance. The chitin and keratin box, bag of crystal, a sack of fertilizer, and a fertilizer stack. So with this one, basically it's like the stack of fertilizer, Oops. but you can put a lot more. For me, I have a stack mod on right now, so it kind of glitches with the amount of bags out of here, because you can get up to like 50 of them. But right now, for me it just shows three. Then there's the bag of flint, the fiber box, gas barrel for gasoline, a gunpowder keg, hide and pelt box, uh, ingot shelf for your metal ingots, and the metal ingot stack, which is like the uh, fertilizer stack as well. Narcotics bowl, the oil barrel, obsidian ore bin, so this as well, if you have more obsidian in here, it'll show like a lot more obsidian than just a few rocks. Metal ore bin, which is basically the same, but with metal. Then we have the pallet, so this is like, basically like, thing from over here, the hand cart, about how you can put anything in it. But it won't show any appearance. So yeah, that's the pallet. Oh yeah, and you also need to make the pallet in order to make some of the other things. So for example, if you want to make this, you need to craft this first. Then there's the storage shelf. The stimulant bowl. The spark powder keg. The stone shed. If you have more stone in, it'll look full. The stone bin. Hay pile, a thatch cart. Oh yeah, and this is called a hay bale, I mean hay pile, but you put thatch in it. And there's the gun cabinet, so this you can open and close. There's no animation though, unfortunately. And it actually shows the gun that's in here, but I think it only shows the rifle, because when I have the pistol in, it doesn't show the pistol. So yeah, I think it only has aesthetic for the sniper, but it still looks pretty cool. And the wood holder, and the wood shed. And then we have a few more things over here. The bag of pearls. You can put both silica and black pearls in here. A generic barrel, generic barrel, so you can just put any item in here. An element bin. Bag of sand. Oh, what's this called? Oh yeah, tool rack. And in here, for each thing you put in here, so like, I have this many of each tool in here, and also each individual one, which is very cool. And it's on both sides. So if you have a wall on one side, it'll be hard to see the rest of the tools. Well, it doesn't really matter, since you can still just go in here. And... Yeah, there's lots of tools you can put in here, so yeah, that's very useful. And these are very small things, so I just put them on a table so you can see them. If you put it on the ground, it kind of just, it's very hard to see them, because they blend in with the floor's texture. So there's the small generic crate, and the metal ingot. And then we have the floor shelf. I'm not sure what you do with this, because... You can't access an inventory, so maybe that's just decoration. There's probably some use, but I'm not sure what it is. Then there's the bar refrigerator, 
which you can open and has a nice animation. And in here you store lots of things. So basically anything you'd use to make things with the chemistry bench. So you can put this next to your chemistry bench to make it look nice. So yeah, that's all the stuff from the RP Visual Storage mod. Coming in number two is actually two mods, the PHE Decor mod and the PHE Furniture mod. These mods are great for adding realistic furniture, toys, weird props, rugs, and so on. And the furniture that these mods adds are the best you'll find in an ARC mod. So if you want good furniture in ARC, you should definitely get these mods. So since there's two mods, there's two different benches, two crafting stations to make. There's the PHE Decor bench and the PG Furniture Bench. So first there's the decor stuff I'll go through. There's a lot of books, <laughs> a lot of decoration books. I won't say the name of each one because it's just pretty generic. We have open books and then book stacks. This is also a book stack. Then scroll and just some scraps of paper. And then we have the curtains. So you have long ones and these square ones, and I think there's four colors. Yeah, four colors. Then we have all of the like food items. So you have a mug, bowls, cutlery, frying pan, and all that. And yeah, here's the food. It looks so good. <laughs> the logo pop's kind of interesting. And those are huge chicken nuggets. And then we have the fountains. Oh wait, no, this is a bird bath. Then these are the fountains. This one has a statue on it. So does this one, but it's kind of going through the roof. Over there, it's a man. And there's this Viking guy. So yeah, those are the fountains. Then you have, this is the gift section. So I don't really know why there's stuffed cats here. <laughs> But yeah, there's cats, bears, Valentine's boxing, and you have some gifts, flowers. You're supposed to put these in the vases if you want to make it look like that sort of decoration. But you could also put these in the ground if you wanted to. <laughs> but there's a better mod for that, which I'll get to soon. And then there's all the vases, some more flowers. Then there's gravestones, which you'd put in a graveyard. Right inside your house, and that's like cophagus. And then there's some lights that this mod adds. Not as many as the additional lighting mod though. But some of them, like this, this is very cool. And this sort of light, this model is not in additional lighting. So I'd recommend you use both mods. And there's some wall lights. Oh yeah, and these don't require fuel either. And yeah, more lights. And then you have mailboxes. This one is all but this one. Wait, no, this one and that one don't have posts. I mean, why'd you call that? A leg? <laughs> so you stick these on the wall, basically. And they have a little bit of inventory space in there. Then you have some more decorations, basket. Uh, just a sack, another sack, and another sack, and some jars of vases, logs, and a safe. 200 slots. Oh yeah, and <laughs> I almost missed them. There's the rugs that very they're very hard to see when you put them on normal arc structures because of the texture of the arc structures. But if you use another mod like Poop My Home, then this will go very well with it. I'll make a video on that mod in a future video. And you could also probably put these on metal ceilings and foundations and wood, and they'd look good. But on stone, they are very hard to see. And there's also a larger version of the Shagrog and a welcome mat. Then we have statues. Lots of statues of lots of different sizes. 
and then we have just two random things a medical bag and a market store so then we have all of the peachy furniture stuff so everything from downstairs is from the decor mod this is from the furniture mod so you have a bunk bed a double bed a single bed I think some of these are just plain arc things but then you have some special things some dresses a table a shelf another shelf a sofa oh yeah and you can sit on all of these like sofas and seats and stools so that's very cool some tables a bedside table some bookshelves another bunk bed and some, yeah, just some more beds. And then we have, oh yeah, most of the stuff from over there was the common set of this. <laughs> was the common set of stuff. So you have like, you can see the texture there. It's not the most, I guess, it's pretty trash. <laughs> and then you have the more common sort of stuff that you'd probably have at your house with this type of wood. So yeah, you have basically everything from over there but with this texture and some of the things are different designs as well so these look very nice and then you have well there's still lots more okay then we have the high-end stuff so this is like for royalty level of stuff so like a bit like this a bit like that look at that and a single bed and yeah we have like a marble texture for this high-end quality stuff so yeah this is very cool some tables bedside table and bookshelves then we have thrones so this is a large throne a slightly smaller throne the dwarven throne which looks pretty cool should be good for like role play <laughs> or just on aberration an elven throne a pixie throne and then there's just another bed here for some reason coming in number one is the entire collection of eco's mods eco's mods are a set of 14 amazing decoration mods and they are the best decoration mods in arc because of the amount of content they add and also how quality how high quality the things are they're probably like either on par or maybe even better than PG. so instead of going through each of the items like i did with the previous mods i'll just quickly show the contents of the mods for a few seconds each because otherwise it'd take forever to get through them all so there's eco trees Eco and Wonderland Eco's Roleplay Decor or RP Decor
because Scorch Death to call. Eco's tech to call. Because Garden Decor. Eco's Terrarians Okay, shop the call. Because camping decor. Because stable structures and decor. Eco's Aberration Decor Eco's Primordial Decor Because primordial settles.
and Ica's extinction foliage. There's also six different Ecos Empires mods, which are also great for decorating and are also great for roleplay, but I'll be covering those in a future top 5 mods video. All of these mods work independently, so if you want to only use a certain handful of these mods, you can definitely do that. If you don't know which ones to start with, I'd recommend to go with Ecos Roleplay Decor, or RP Decor, Ecos Garden Decor, and Ecos Terrariums. Then work your way up from there, adding whichever mods sound the most interesting to you. Before I finish off the video, I'll quickly show you what my house and arc looks like, after I used all these mods to decorate it. Oh and a shout out to Aaron Longstaff for this house design. So outside of the house, I put some small palm trees and some banana trees from the Eco Trees mod. So they're very nice for decoration on the outside. And they can't be destroyed by creatures like normal trees can. And if I go to the entrance of the house... Oh yeah, on the side I put these hanging flowers from the Eco's Garden Decor mod. And then on the outside I just have some... I have a lot of different decorations. There's the thatch cart from the uh, RP Visual Storage mod. Some more stuff from that mod. And then I put the bathroom and toilet stuff outside the house because I don't have enough room on the inside. So yeah, this is the bathroom furniture mod stuff. Then I have the Eco's stable structures and decor crafting table here because it looks nice to just have there. And if I go inside, I have the tool rack here which is like in the lobby of the house. And then there's the, I have a Terrarium here from Eco's Terrariums on top of a common table from Peachy's Furniture mod. If I go into the main room, I have some curtains from the Peachy mod, some bookshelves from the Peachy mod, a uh, unicorn mount head from the Eco's RP decor mod, and then a bed, a bedside table. I think these are from Eco's. But they might be from Peachy, because they both have beds and bedside tables. And then uh, just, uh, this is just the normal storage. And then I have the chest. This looks so nice, all of this chest. And I have the light construction table. Oh yeah, I also put the crafting tables just in here. Because they also look well, I mean, look nice. And suit well to be their own decoration as well. And I have a light up there from additional lighting. Have fabricator here and a chair here from Peachy. And then I have some more crafting things here outside. Then on the veranda, I have this round table. This is from Eco's roleplay decor. And then this is from Peachy's furniture. And then this food and other items is a mix of those two mods. And then this is from the rest of this stuff. This and this is just decoration. This is from Eco's Garden Decor. This is from Eco's Garden Decor. This is from Fiji's. So yeah, the mods work really well together. Even like even though they're different mods. So it's good to download all of these mods from the video. Because they the more you have, the better you can decorate your stuff. Then here, this is all peachy stuff, with the table, stools, and all the food. And then I just have some, two more crafting tables. So those were my top 5 best mods for decoration in Ark Survival Evolved. If you enjoyed or found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a like, 
and also make sure to be subscribed to the channel so that you don't miss any future top 5 mod videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.